What Do You Do With a Tail Like This? by Steve Jenkins and Robin Page. Animals use their noses, ears, tails, eyes, mouths, and feet in very different ways. See if you can guess which animal each part belongs to and how it's used. At the back of the book, you can find out more about these animals. What do you do with a nose like this? Well, if you're a platypus, you use your nose to dig in the mud. If you're a hyena, you find your next meal with your nose. If you're an elephant, you use your nose to give yourself a bath. If you're a mole, you use your nose to find your way underground. And if you're an alligator, you breathe through your nose while hiding in the water. What do you do with ears like these? Well, if you're a jackrabbit, you use your ears to keep cool. If you're a bat, you see with your ears, using echolocation. If you're a hippopotamus, you close your ears when you're underwater. If you're a cricket, you hear with ears that are on your knees. And if you're a humpback whale, you hear sounds hundreds of miles away. Those are some pretty good ears. What do you do with a tail like this? Well, if you're a giraffe, you brush off pesky flies with your tail. If you're a skunk, you lift up your tail to warn that a stinky spray is on the way. Gross. If you're a lizard, you can actually break off your tail to get away from predators. It keeps moving. The predators get confused. If you're a scorpion, your tail can get a nasty sting. And if you're a monkey, you can even hang from a tree by your tail. What do you see with eyes like these? Well, if you're a chameleon, you can look two ways at once. If you're an eagle, you can spot tiny animals from way up high in the air. If you're a four-eyed fish, you can even look above and below water at the same time. And if you're a horned lizard, you can squirt blood out of your eyes. If you're a bush baby, you can use your large eyes to see clearly at night. What do you do with feet like these? Well, if you're a chimpanzee, you feed yourself with your feet. If you're a water strider, you can walk on water. If you're a blue-footed booby, you can do a little dance. If you're a mountain goat, you can leap from ledge to ledge. And if you're a gecko, you can use your sticky feet to walk on the ceiling. What do you do with a mouth like this? If you're a mosquito, you use your mouth to suck up blood. If you're a pelican, you use your mouth as a net to scoop up fish. If you're an egg-eating snake, you use your mouth to swallow eggs larger than your head. If you're an anteater, you capture termites with your long tongue. And if you're an archer fish, you catch insects by shooting them down with a stream of water. Now we're all done. Bye, baby peanut.